I was working there one day a week on Sunday. Lots of other donors volunteer, um, donate clothing, food products, all type of all kind of items. But anyway, so she was looking at some shoes. So I asked her what size shoes she wear. I think she said she needed eight or something. I don't know. But anyway, I asked someone get a pair of eight for her. So that's how we initially met. Okay. Then later, I learned that she was homeless. Okay. She needed a um, tap card or something, and I just so happened to have one a tap card that I had. Okay. At, at some point. You exchanged email addresses right, to provide yes. her and more information on housing. Yes. Could she not have gotten that information at that event? She could have, but she asked me what was going on, and I gave her the information. Is that how you remember meeting Mr. Bowie? I remember that that was my first time at the program. I would just like to clarify that this program does offer, like, numerous things. So they offer free cleaning supplies, help with groceries, they offer clothing, they offer books, so on and so forth. Once I did learn that they also helped out with housing options, that's when... I asked for further information, but that's not how it ended up going. Right, but you exchanged email addresses and you felt fine about that. Yes. Did he ever provide housing information? No, he did not. You eventually did reach out to the person that was actually handling yes, the, next day. the housing yes. the next day. At one point... That's not true, it wasn't the next day. She didn't reach out to her, I gave her the, forgot her phone. I'm not at the phone yet. Okay. Ms. Small, when was the first interaction that you had with him where he acted inappropriately with you? He asked if he could come over to where it is that I was staying. When was the second instance of inappropriate behavior? Okay, so back on the email trail, there he said that he had a couple of phones for me and that I could meet him at the original location and that he would give me the phone. So you all met and he gave you a phone? Yes, he gave okay. me a couple of phones to choose from. Because what I'm looking at is a Victoria's Secret bag. Yes, okay. that was also... Okay, and this is a receipt as well? Yes. For what? So the circumstances in which he let me know that I could have the phone was that, one, that I could go back into school, which I have. In addition to that, he brought up a reunion that he was going back to, a high school reunion. And so he said that basically what it came down to was that in exchange for this phone, I would go with him to his high school reunion. He said that he wanted to go shopping for a dress for the high school reunion. However, there was never a dress that was purchased. Instead, he purchased lingerie. So you accepted his invitation yes. to go to his high school reunion? Yes. Sir, did you invite her to your high school reunion? Yes, I did, but you, you, we, we jumped in from one day to a whole into some events that happened. It really doesn't matter, though, right? Yes, it does matter because that's not the truth. You didn't invite her to a high school reunion? I'm not speaking about that before. I, how to go I don't think anything you tell me between your initial meeting with this young lady to the point where you invite her to your high school reunion really matters. It didn't happen that way. That's it, in that way. We, she asked me to pick her up at a coffee shop. Um, a coffee and tea leaf, something Was like that, that a date? Okay, we considered a date, you know. We went, we went there, and then we went to uh, Chick-fil-A. Then while at Chick-fil-A, I think that was on the 30th or the, the day, the 31st. Why does this matter? I didn't invite her. I, mentioned, I just happened to mention while we was at Chick-fil-A okay. that I, I was going to a reunion. Okay. I said, but I'm, I'll probably go by myself. Then okay. she, she invited herself. She invited I, herself. She invited She said, I'll go with you. I accepted it. She indicated she would like to go with me. I you know, that still doesn't matter to me, right? Okay. Judge Juarez. Somehow, an invitation to the high school reunion is extended. And a plan is made to go shopping. Is that correct? Yeah, yes. I think that was on the 5th, July 5th, um, August 5th. But anyway, she showed up two hours late. We still didn't go into Bowen Hill Mall. The first store we went to, she didn't like anything, and I agree with her, I didn't like anything. Once she said she liked the purple dress, we left that store, directly across the way is Victoria's Secret. She, she picked out some things she wanted, I purchased them. Because I was really, I was gonna give her up to $1,000 for whatever, anything she wanted and need for that occasion. That was my plan. Is that true? The color of the dress is significant because it's also tied to the school, high school colors. So then how do you end up in Victoria's Secret? He offered it. He pointed it out and he asked if we would like to go to Victoria's Secret. He led me into Victoria's Secret. Hey, he led you there? Yes. Who picked out what you were going to wear? He gave suggestive comments on which colors to pick. Okay, so which, which colors of what? Of lingerie. It was, I believe, four pairs of underwear and two bras, red and black. Did this like totally creep you out? Yes. So why was that not the end? Why not say, like, I'm not going to your reunion? I still had the phone. I felt as though I was in some sort of obligation. Okay. That's what So we, you believe yes. that the phone was basically tied to... This reunion. The reunion. Yes. That's very different than what you say in your papers, where you say he got you a phone out of the goodness of his heart. That's what he claimed. He claimed all of this was out of the goodness of his heart.